my favorite teacher, and it's they're tough to choose because they're all so great. My favorite teacher was Bill Hetrick. He was my eighth grade English teacher. He was an eccentric man, um, a hard teacher, demanded a lot of us, a little cold and distant, but he was a real lover of poetry and he brought poetry to life for us and challenged us. And up to that point, growing up in a Mexican American family, um, I had been socialized to think of poetry as something that was only for girls. I was a boy, science fiction, adventure, fantasy, that kind of stuff, you know, pirates and monsters. Um, and he really kind of pulled the lid back off of poetry for me and helped me to understand just how amazing and beautiful and complex and powerful it was. And it just set me on this path. It made me want to be a poet and it made me want to help other people to understand the importance of poetry. So he, if I had to choose one teacher who, had really, who really shaped my future, it would be Bill Hetrick. I, I've been really blessed to have a lot of teachers that saw me, that listened, that validated me. One teacher I, I always shout out because she was just so instrumental in my growth is Linda Christensen. She's an editor at Rethinking Schools and she's always been like the Linda Christensen. But we didn't know that when we were in high school. She was just our teacher. She just loved us and saw us and pushed us to be critical thinkers. And I always say she brought the world to the hood through the verses and stanzas of poems. And she was one of the first teachers that really asked me to look at the world and critique it and look at the world and celebrate it. And to do those, to hold those truths that you can love something very much, but also see the things that need to change about what you love. And through writing, you can address those things. Who is my favorite teacher and why? You know, I say easily, I had amazing teachers. But when I was in fifth grade, I had a teacher, Mrs. Van Bellum, um, who was one of those teachers that knew that I loved to write and would, allow, would ask me, what are you writing now? Which is something all teachers should do. She would say, what are you writing now? Because she knew I was writing on my own. And I would talk about some of the things that I was writing and she would look at them in her spare time. She'd let me share them with the class when we had some spare time. And um, I loved her so much. So for Christmas one year, instead of buying her a Christmas present, I wrote her a story. And it was my first, I always think of it, my first complete book. It was mm, 10 pages, 10 chapters. It was called Who Done It? It was a mystery. And she sent it without even telling me she sent it to a writing contest. Um, and guess who won? I did, you know? I, I tell kids this, I go, guess who won? And they all sit there and look at me and I think, would I tell you the story if I lost? And um, I actually won the first place blue ribbon um, and I still have that blue ribbon. So even though I've won a lot of awards since then, that's the one that I keep up. I see it, I put it on the side of my big computer and that's the one that I wanna see every single day. Mostly because it reminds me that the reason I write is really it's just this joyful, amazing occupation. So by far, she was be simply because she put me on that path. After that, I was sold. I was a writer. I never stopped. Yeah.